Effective annual rate is the interest rate that's actually earned or paid on a loan or investment, and it takes into account the effect of compounding. For this reason, it's typically higher than the nominal rate or the stated rate. It's used to compare different projects, loans, and investments that have annual interest rates and compounding periods. So let's look at an example of how the formula works. It takes into account the nominal interest rate and the number of compounding periods. It's higher because of these compounding effects. It's important to note that an investment with annual compounding has an effective annual rate that's equal to the nominal rate. Let's look at an example now of how to actually calculate this. Imagine that Union Bank offers nominal interest of 12% on its certificates of deposit. A client invests $1,000 in the instrument, which will have interest that compounds monthly for a full year. Let's see what the effective annual rate is. If we plug it into our formula that you saw earlier, we take 1 and add to it the nominal rate, which is 12%, divided by the number of compounding periods, which is 12, all raised to the power of the number of compounding periods, which is 12 minus 1. And we get an effective annual rate of 12.683%, obviously higher than the nominal 12%. So at the end of the year, the client would receive 1,000 times 1 plus 12.683% is $1,126.83 not $1,120. Hopefully this has been a helpful guide to understanding what the effective annual rate is and how to calculate it.